Hello and welcome back to the Jazz Good Jazz grand, Gaming. Grand. There you go. Now you were caught off guard, you little bitch. Oh no. <laughs> now it's you who's being bullied. Let's see if we can do this. So yeah, 80 year war. The old Spanarinos. Right. Some good shit. So imagine the battle is we fought a war for 80 years just so that we could be our own country. Right? And then 300 years later, we're just like, okay, we're no longer a country. Long. Mm -hmm. Just like. Yeah. It's a crazy radio, a loud radio or something. Anyway, uh... It's like, yeah, little old, old life's worth for not. It's like, okay, you know, you know, all that effort. But... Uh... No, but what, what, uh, what I'm thinking is, uh, you know, whatever you think. It's just, I don't know, I feel like we'd be told to stop allowing hookers and, and weed. Yeah. Like, we'd, we'd, be, we'd be told that... Our, that our progressive laws would have to be reversed, right? I, I feel like it would diminish uh, a lot of the things that make the Netherlands such a Netherlands, uh, yeah. well, such a all right country. Except we have our social, uh, sir, uh, like what would happen to our uh, to our social programs, like welfare and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Would those still even remain? Would Probably those still not. be a thing? Would the federal government t adopt our system, or would they go for a different country system, yeah. where it, uh, that's maybe like less less yeah, but uh, also involved what about or the less good? What about as the, the that depth of far? other countries that now is also like being pushed down to us? Like w w we got to deal with that too. It's like oh yeah, yeah, yeah like take a hit of that. And it's like it's not that I'm against a union and all I mean, that like all that economy union. that we build up. You know that we build up and that we wor worked for uh, towards and worked hard for. You know, um, re uh, it would all be have to be given up. Yeah, it would all have to become this, the the entire EU's money. But and it's also like what's I don't know. easier? Maybe to I cover? just don't know. Maybe I just don't know enough about how states work. Pretty like how much freedom does a state have? Like it how all much depends on, on the federal, on the, on the federation that they're in. Like if if you have a, a very like authoritarian like federation, it's gonna be like no, the states have literally no powers. And then you have super liberals that are like oh no, the states have all the power. And it's like every state's for itself. So it's like well, you even have a federation at that point. It's like and that's the thing. It's like what's easier to govern? A country or like an entire fucking continent with people in different like you know agricultural zones and different fucking workplaces different fucking environments like like you have to take every country or every specific piece of a fucking state separately like what counts in one state doesn't have to apply in another state Exactly. And that's the whole thing. So like, it's well, like, Im just imagine, right, federal EU, <laughs> who's going to be in power, likely Germany. Th of course. And they're going to be like, hey, Netherlands, now we can finally tell you to stop selling weed. Close your coffee shop. Yeah. Imagine the, co the imagine the, them fucking close. Uh, imagine the, 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 like coffee Outbridge. shops having to, like, dealers would flock all over the Netherlands because they know there's an enormous yeah. market for it here. Like, this, imagine, remember when our government tried yeah. to close down the shops for, for just... For two for, days. For two days, they they held out. The government held out two days until they went like, no, 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 no. we got to reopen This shit's essential. <laughs> this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Everybody's making lots and lots and lots of money off of illicit sales. Can't have that. <laughs> because, dude, they announced it like half an hour before they were actually going to close yeah. the, s the shops, right? Which is already like a fuck you. Already, move. yeah. That's already like being like, okay, I'm I'm a cunt and I do cunt things. That's that's what you're saying with that, basically, right? That's what the government was telling us. Like, hey, we're gonna, uh, we're being a cunt right now. No fun allowed. And everyone flocked to the cops. You should have seen the queues, dude. Oh, it was nuts. And. Well, you know, but it wasn't just people queuing to get into the golf shop, uh, shop. There were also tons and tons of tons of dealers just handing out their their business cards yep. to be like, "Hey, give me a call. You know, I got weed. Don't worry, my my supplier we'll is never through. gonna. You know, we'll get we'll get you the we'll get you the good stuff." And they w and you gotta understand, like one of my dealers, 
he jacked up his prices from 40 euros per 5 grams to 70 euros per 5 grams. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he sold out in one night. Yeah. Right? Just think about that. He sold out that night with jacked up <laughs> prices like crazy. Just those two days, the government lost a lot of trust from the stoners. And dealers gained a lot of fucking yeah. money. So they basically fucked everything. So they basically made such that was it was such a bad maneuver yeah, that, was that they lost fun. everyone in the process. Like dealers were like like laughing their asses off and even though like the government hates dealers. Yeah. Oh do they hate dealers, man. They and were all gross, like, Thank dude. you, Rutte, thank you. It's just like like they were all like, Oh dude, you should do this more often, man. <laughs> I hope this coronavirus gets worse. Man, Damn. I hope they, I hope they make it illegal now. Because holy crap, like a lot of people don't want it to become legal because they want to sell. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, if the, if the government goes like, oh, what was going up? Well, yeah, shit. I'll just continue buying from like even if they, if they go, it's no longer being tolerated, right? So the law will not actually be in effect. Oh yeah, we'll find a workaround. I will literally keep smoking weed. It doesn't matter. I'll, I won't do it on the show, right? I won't be doing it on the show because I want to cover my own ass. Yeah, you, you can't incriminate. Well, yourself. I actually, you know what we do? Just get rid of the fucking face cam. Yeah. Just and I just claim we're smoking cigarettes. Right, and like, oh yeah, camera broke. You know, camera broke. We just started smoke cigarette, blah, blah blah. But like, no man, like, it, 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 because it's it, it's that's sort of something that that I think most Hello? Dutch people at this point are like, yeah, no, it should be legal by now, right? Yeah, because we have we've had coffee shops since the 1970s. We've right. been going out for we, a we've, while. We've been, we've been, we've, we've been around this track for uh, quite a while now. And you know what? You know, shit's good. I feel like, I feel like it's all right. It's not, you know, we're not. We haven't found the fucking Jesus of all drugs, but it's also it's quite interesting. close to it. If you look at the demographic of people smoking in the Netherlands, it's literally everybody. It's everybody. Dude. If you go to a coffee shop, you'll find every age category there. Older ladies, businessmen, shady uh, guys, shady fellas, people doing their fucking homework, uh, twenty-year-olds, just you know, college students, uh, but also just people like just everyday people, man. I remember one time I was in the, I was in that train. And I got my check ticked by the uh, by the fella. Um, uh, you know, he checked, he ticked, he, t he checked by a ticket. He was alright. And I get out and I, I go to the co uh, coffee shop and I sit down and I'm just ch just vibing. Um, and who do I see when I walk out of that place? The fucking train fella, just in his everyday outfit, not in his uh, work outfit, of course. This is everyday outfit, but I'm just like, oh yeah, would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, it really is just everybody. It, that's because it's been, it's just a very, yeah, a lot more of a normal thing here. It's like drinking. And yeah, of course it's frowned upon because it's just as frowned upon as regular old smoking. It's just like, oh, don't do it near me. I don't want that stank around me. You know, that kind of stuff. And that's understandable. Yeah, that's understandable. Like, there's not a stoner out there that goes like, you're bitching. Oh yeah, sorry, didn't see you there. We'll move along. But yeah, so I mean, and even the cops are, are great about it oh as yeah, well. They, they, like if you're smoking somewhere and you're not supposed to, they'll just go like, "Hey man, go smoke over there." Exactly. Like do it there, not 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 here, man. You're like, no, oh, no, there's kids walking around here. Fuck, stupid. Like, come on, you're bothering the kid, you're bothering the parents with their kids. Like they're worried. Just uh, go, go, go to this uh, park like a couple blocks away. Swap there. There we go. I mean, I say blocks, but we don't really need blocks in the do we? No, we still have our old we, we fucking streets, couple streets away. We still use our old village shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got that. We got that convoluted stuff. So we got a nice rare teleporting. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Very. I love it. It's amazing. It's my favorite part of the fight, Brian. Fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, I think one reason why it isn't fully legal yet is because we have this little like 
oh yeah, well, we, we, we don't frown upon it, it's alright, it's in this fucking legal gray area. And I think that's why it's not They're legal stuck yet. In because everybody, everybody is just like content with the system we have. True. And I'm like, yeah, it's an alright system, but it's not a good system because there's still illegal shit involved. And also, you can get taxes out of this. People. You're ruining pe uh, people's lives for growing a plant, yeah. even though you're turning a blind eye to the buying part of it. You're still being aggressive on the growing part, so you're being a hypocrite. You're, you just put a band-aid over it, so the pe uh, so the general public doesn't see the problems. Yeah, but there are definitely problems. You're definitely still fucking the industry. And all, but the the main problem uh, mo problem mostly is old uh, just old Christian fuckers in the government. Yeah. Those fucking Christians, they're like, I don't agree with it, so no one should. And that that's what I hate about Christians, mm -hmm. dude. They're, it's never like, oh, I don't agree with it, but I just let people just do whatever. Yeah, that's like with gay enough. marriage, they're all right, you know, they're pretty, all, they're pretty, you know, they're like, yeah, I don't agree with it, but I think that they should be allowed to. Uh, but then you have a crap ton, and it, it would surprise you how many, because I want to say it's a loud minority, but no. I've met so many Christians, I've met so many they're of them, super and against. they're so, like, they actually want people, like, they, they, they're like, oh no, I don't want pe uh, gay people to be allowed to marry in a church, they're like, I'm al uh, they, they should only be allowed to marry at a court or something Yeah, like that. yeah, it's like, fuck like, you. And it's like, dude, you're such a cunt, right, but it's like... Like, like Christianity, I feel like is one of the most, uh, most like loud religions. As in, like, I want this to affect everyone. Yeah. And they're and and, and then they're complaining about Muslims, and I'm like, well, you're you're the same. You're just as bad. You're just you're as you've bad, been going man. along for a while here because you've been here for longer. And the only reason we tolerate you is indeed because you've been around long enough. You fucking bastard. Like, we've, we're, we're used to your fucking bullshit. Like, it's like, I, like, why can't you just say, I disagree with these practices? Why can't it just be left at that? Why does it have to be, we have to change the law so that it fits my view of this fucking dumbass world a lot better? It's like, I won't allow it. I won't allow it. I can't uh, even yeah. condone it. Yeah, like they can't condone it. It's just they can't. They they don't want it to be allowed. So fuck you, my little my little oh, piece fuck. of paper written by 15 million people says that it isn't the truth. So yeah, so. and Wait, how many Moses was talking to a burning bush. You think he was talking to a literal burning yeah, bush? No, he was burning the here's bush. The, here's the thing: How many Muslims realistically do you see going around saying we gotta stop gay marriage in the Netherlands? Um. I know that they'll say, like, I don't agree with it, but how many are actually lobbying to make it illegal again? Uh, there's quite a lot. It, it would surprise you. Like, and you know what? Uh, like, yeah, and you not know in what, my church. Yeah, and you know what they have in common? They only have one god. Yeah. Man, those Greeks used to fuck everybody. Fuck you. Fucking you Just wanted to get an extra hit in. <laughs> hey, man, is that for his guy? He's gonna get that one damage. Got that one damage, dude. I only do one fucking damage on him, that fucking asshole. I know, right? Oh! oh. He's, he's stuck in the air just a little yep. longer than I anticipated because I, I'm used to realistic I physics I, from, from I the real world because I, I live in the real stuck world. On the, on the, st yeah, the stair as well. Yeah, I got stuck on some stuff and he was sticking around in the air like. A solid three seconds. It was longer was than usual. Well, yeah, it's longer than it would be possible in real life. But I know it's not real life. It's just a game. But that's what I base my instincts on. Because <laughs> I go outside. More than you do, likely. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nerds at home. Fucking nerds, dog. Go outside. Look uh, at the sun. Don't, don't directly look exactly. at the sun. The only reason we have our curtain up is so that you can see us right now. Yeah, we? if if the curtain is a... Like, you know, but down, when we're not recording, not it's, it's, it's always open because I fucking love sunlight. Oh yeah, it's great. I love Get it. Get that vitamin D's. Oh. Yeah, I don't want your bones to go all fucking bendy. Exactly. Old bendy bones, my Jones. Old bendy bones, McGee. Oh. Fuck you. Get him, governor. Got him. 
Who's me? Who's me? Oh, so me. You're tripping, yo. Weren't some stop. people Schmeckling. saying that that's offensive? What? Saying hoes mad? Oh, probably offensive to the hoes is mad. Probably. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, what, what? yeah, of course it's gonna be offensive no, to the but guys. For some reason, I heard someone say it, like, careful, it's offensive nowadays. And I, I was like, what do you mean? You think it's racist or something? I what? don't know. I don't fucking understand. Yeah, hoes are just mad. Some bitches be hoes and some hoes be mad. But you can't say that? Who's dead? It's crazy. It's a crazy world, oh, man. Oh, stop being mad. Oh, imagine living in a federal Europe where you can't say some some stuff. Imagine that being fair. You can't be against the federal Europe. I wonder, I wonder if people would push back to that. Or would they right. just be like, ah, 12 Estes, let's go. Hey, damn, dude. You got 12 Estes and a tear of denial. You can use six, die, and then use six again. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I'm a very clever guy. You might not know this. Get staggered real quick, thanks. Yeah, throw your frisbees at me. Yeah, shoot your pew pews at me. Ultimate frisbee and nerf. Typical day in the park. Oh! Ah! Oh. oh, thanks, Tiro, for now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> right in time. You use so much Estus. Yep. Because he won't let you take one Estus. He forces you to like use a you million. You force the Estus thing. Yeah, exactly. Because if you get anywhere a little bit distance from him, he'll start annoying the shit out of you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I just now that we were sticking so close to him, that you <laughs> could really hear the the oldness in him. I mean, he did just do a very dirty discharge. He did me dirty, damn it! He did him damn dirty, dirty. Yep, yep. Fuck. I should I accidentally sprinted because I mispressed the button. Oh. That cape! I can't roll through anything. I can't roll you for always, anything. You always get got a little bit. Oh, 17 minutes. See you oh, guys see you later, on the next episode. Assholes. This was a very politically charged video, wasn't it?